Hi there. As promised, I am going to do an integration by parts problem here. Um, this one is pretty interesting, yeah, as you will see. Um, this is the integral of e to the x cosine of x dx. Now, I have written down the formula of uh, integration by parts right here. <coughs> so, we can use it. So as I as I mentioned in the last video, uh, that um, you gotta choose the first function and second function carefully. Uh, if you don't, you'll get nowhere, right? Um, so, what do you think will be the first function here? Uh, I totally don't think it will be cosine of x because it's differentiation. Because later on we have to differentiate u of the first function uh, is negative sine of x, which is the negative makes it even more horrible e to the x i don't know what to tell about it it's suitable for any any function it's first function or second function or anything i'm just intended to choose it as my second function right and um, whoops i'm so sorry first function so sorry. First function and this cosine of x as the second function. Okay. So actually that's u that's dv. Okay, so let's do this. Um, according to this formula we have that it will be e to the x times the integral of cosine of x. Now it is I guess sine of x, isn't it? Is sine of x minus the integral of v b is what sine of x again is the integral of cosine of x okay. sine of x times du du is what du is the differentiation of e to the x voila e to the x beautiful function now where are we going with this i guess we'll say that hey look uh, we again have e to the x sine of x which doesn't look any simpler and i would say well why don't we apply the integration by parts again uh, what you know it's don't give up right so let's do it again i'll choose my first function to be e to the x and my second function to be sine of x okay so this becomes what it becomes I'll write it this e to the x sine of x minus I'm going to make a, a little bracket here because I'm focusing on this part right here Okay, so that is my first function, that is my second function, so according to the formula I have, this will be negative u to the x cosine of x, right, I just integrated sine of x to get this negative cosine of x, minus the integral of v du, right, minus the integral of this times the differentiation of this, that is the integral of the integral of sine of x will be negative cosine of x, so that negative comes out and makes this a plus. And when I integrate this, this becomes cosine of x. And times the differentiation of e to the x, which is surprisingly again e to the x. So let's just um, let's just open this up, right? Yes. Uh, that's the best way to analyze what we have done till here. So that's e to the x sine of x. Um, if I open this, it will be plus e to the x cosine of x. And uh, this will be negative the integral of e to the x cosine of x. Okay, and here we have the integral of this is always a problem. 
is it x cosine of x dx and the dx I guess I smell something these two are the same isn't it well you say then what well I would say why don't we bring this to the left hand side so that becomes two times the integral of e to the x cosine of x dx and here if we take e to the x common we'll get sine of x plus cosine of x okay we are almost done almost we just have to divide by this two right there so we have that original problem the integral of e to the x cosine of x to dx which you thought would not be as interesting as expected right e to the x over 2 sine of x plus cos x here we go here we go that's pretty neat right all right that's that wraps up our integration by parts session here we'll continue something else next time great have a good night